Hello folks, welcome to our channel Phoenix Media. Today we will be walking through the movie The Circus, American silent film, released in 1928. This was one of Charlie Chaplin's most acclaimed movies. Let's begin. The scene begins with a circus act featuring a number of performers, including a stunning girl who misses a hoop, the circus owner Ringmaster, who happens to be the girl's father, becomes enraged and begins reprimanding and abusing the girl. Stop screaming at all of the other performers later. The girl is still weeping as the drama comes to a close. Our infamous character Chaplin joins the crowd of people who are observing the puppet show. Meanwhile, a thief steals a wallet from the person standing next to him. Upon realizing what has happened, the owner of the wallet grabs the thief by the collar and yells, but thanks to his cunning work, the thief manages to conceal the wallet in Chaplin's coat. When Chaplin stops at a food stand, the thief follows him there. Chaplin attempts to play with a child holding a bun while he eats a large bite since he is so hungry. A police officer who is suspicious of the thief pursues him in the meantime and seizes him before taking the wallet from Chaplin's coat. Without knowing what might occur next, Chaplin checks his wallet before starting to buy lunch. After confronting Chaplin and identifying his wallet, the wallet's owner later calls for police. Chaplin, however, flees the scene and, by accident, stumbles into the middle of a circus performance, where he unknowingly becomes the star of the show. The following day, the ringmaster of the struggling circus offers him a tryout, but Chaplin utterly fails. He is immediately hired to take the place of the property men when they resign, because they haven't been paid. He unintentionally causes comic mayhem during a performance once more. He is cunningly employed by the ringmaster as a lowly property man who is always posted in the big top tent stage area so he can unintentionally improvise comic material. At the scenario, Chaplin stumbles inside the lion's cage, where the lion is sleeping. Frightened, he cautiously walks to the cage entrance and accidentally pulls the latch to lock the door and trap within. Once more, make an attempt to get out of the cage by using the secondary tiny door that connects to the tiger's cage and barely escapes from it. Chaplin asks the dog to not wake the lion, as it bots repeatedly after noticing him in the lion's cage. In the meantime, the lion awakens and does nothing for Chaplin, believing that he is not worthy of a meal. Chaplin gets fearless after knowing that the lion ignored him. When horse rider girl approached to open the door, Chaplin put up an act of braveness, and he attempts to tame a lion. When the lion roars, forcing Chaplin to flee, he rushed and climbed the nearest pole. Chaplin makes friends with the girl, a horse rider who endures poor treatment from her ringmaster. Later, she tells Chaplin that he is the star of the show, forcing the ringmaster to pay Chaplin accordingly. Chaplin also manages to get the girl a better care, because the circus is flourishing as a result of him. Delighted Chaplin purchases a ring from another clown after overhearing a fortune teller tell the girl that she sees love and marriage with a dark, handsome man who is near her, but unfortunately for him, she runs into the recently hired tightrope walker. As she rushes to tell the fortune teller that she has fallen in love with a new man, Chaplin listens in on their conversation. He is unable to amuse the crowds because his heart has been broken. The ringmaster cautions him that he only has one more chance after a string of poor performances. Knowing that Chaplin has been practicing his tightrope act in an effort to unseat the tightrope walker when the latter is nowhere to be found for a performance, the ringmaster sends Chaplin out in tightrope walker's place. Despite a few setbacks, including a few cheeky escape monkeys, he makes it through the ordeal and is warmly applauded by the audience. But afterward, when he witnesses the ringmaster hitting the girl, he beats the man and is fired. 
The girl flees to follow him. The tightrope walker is located by Chaplin, who then brings him back to marry the girl. The group rejoins the circus. When Tightrope Walker tells the ringmaster that his daughter is his wife, the ringmaster stops reprimanding his daughter. Chaplin stays behind when the traveling circus disbands, because he would rather fade and let them enjoy themselves. He stands back up sorrowfully and begins to stroll off. Sign off. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more movie recaps and thanks for watching.